Good morning. Today I'm still in the lovely village of San Juan in the island of Sigahor in the Philippines. I think I've been here for three or four days now. I'm not sure actually, maybe four or five. <laughs> I can't remember. But I'm still just cracking on with some website work and some video editing. A couple of days ahead now with the vlogs, which is great. It gives me a bit of freedom to do other things. So yeah, right now I've been doing some work this morning and now I'm just walking to the next restaurant up to get some lunch. Look at this, it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do for you today is I've had lots of questions on YouTube and on Twitter, on Facebook, about various things about how I travel. So first I'm going to grab some lunch, but then I'm going to go back and do some questions and answers. So let's get some lunch. Good afternoon. Hello. 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 What do we have here then? Beef. What's this one? Spin beef. Spin beef. Yeah. Okay. And some of that as well. One. Thank you. One. Yeah. And um, can I get a large water as well, please? Like this? Uh, uh, the big one. The other one. This. Yeah. One. Just one. Thank you. There's a beautiful view. Oh, cool. There. Thank you. I think I've finally found something I won't eat. It's not often that I get something that I can't finish, but <laughs> it's just like loads of bits of fat from pork, and the bowl was full. And uh, it's not very nice, so I'm going to leave it. Probably only like. 30 cents anyway for that dish. Anyway, let's go back and do some questions and answers. Right, okay, so I'm trying to find a place with a nice view and a nice backdrop that's not too windy. And this place is pretty nice. So I've selected five questions from the most recent YouTube comments and I've got to answer them now the best I can. The first one was from Sammy C, and it was, how do you make your money? So I've made my money lots of different ways while I've been traveling over the last year and a half. Uh, I've video edited for friends and family. That's not a great earner, but I've done that in the past. I've worked at various jobs. I've worked in a bar. I worked in an office in Australia. But right now what I'm doing is I'm building a website for a woman in Australia. Uh, I completely taught myself web design. I have no real background in it, I just taught myself over the last few years and because while working for her in that office I proved that I can do web design, I'm now able to build a website for her while on the road. So that's what I'm doing right now and that's what I aim to do in the immediate future as well. Next question was from Hritik Sharma and I hope I pronounced that correctly. He said, have you planned all your trip, or do you just decide when you reach your next destination? Uh, in the past, I've just completely did it by ear. We've been in the place, or I've been in the place, and just decided that, okay, let's go somewhere else next week. And you book a flight. With budget airlines like AirAsia and other airlines, it's cheap enough just to do that. You can get flights for $50, $100, and fly within a few days. Uh, this time around, what I've done is I've booked flights months apart. So I had the flight already booked to the Philippines and I flew here last week. I have another flight for next month booked to Thailand. I have another flight booked a month after that, which I can't tell you where yet. And then I have another flight booked after that. So this time around I've booked flights for the next few months, but then the travel options in between I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, a question I've had quite a few times is what laptop and what cameras are you using? 
So the camera I'm filming on right now is the Canon S120 Black and it's not the latest in the range of vlogging cameras but I know it's one that people like uh, Fun for Louie and Ben Brown and Casey Neistat have endorsed and were using before and it seems to do the trick. I also have a GoPro Hero 3 Black. I don't have the 4 purely because the 3 Black still does everything I need. It still films in 1080, can still do 60fps, still do 4K which I don't even need that to be honest. My laptop is just a uh, Acer 8 gig RAM, pretty basic laptop really. It's, it's nothing too special, I got it for $500 while in Australia and it, it does the work well enough. I think eventually I'll upgrade that but for right now it does the job. Just goes to show you don't need high end production equipment to be able to do this sort of stuff right now. Right, next question was last week from Just Ben. And again, it was, have you planned travel far in advance or have you planned from a few months or a few weeks? So this time around, I've only planned a few months ahead. Um, I have no idea actually where I'm gonna be after March time. That's a complete black hole right now. <laughs> it just depends on money, job, work-wise, and where the direction of this channel is going. Up until then, I think I have a loose plan, but again, I can't tell you that yet. Jamie Norris, do you have video editing experience before uploading to YouTube? So right, um, I actually about two years ago, I did a bike trip, a cycling trip with five of my friends from England to Germany, Berlin. And I hadn't planned on filming it at all, but I had this little point and shoot camera, it only filmed in 720p and it wasn't great quality. But I just started filming little clips as we went along. And then when it got to the end of the trip, I decided, okay, this would be great to try and edit together. And that was my first editing experience. I downloaded Premiere Pro. Actually, my sister was working with it before because she was working in TV, so she told me to download that. And I did and just started setting about figuring it all out. The first video, although I loved it at the time, it was pretty poor. <laughs> it, it wasn't amazing quality, but that sort of sparked I don't know, my love for video editing. And since then, I've just watched a lot of tutorials, learned how to do it slowly by trial and error, and now I've reached a level, I think, where I can imagine what I want and more or less get it to look like that on camera. But yeah, I'd say mainly, if you're thinking about doing it, just pick it up, watch tutorials, trial and error, and eventually you'll figure out what works and what doesn't work. Okay, the last one, a CT Baikal. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I, I, I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments if I pronounced that wrong. What do you carry with you in your adventures? So in your backpack and on your daily adventures. Um, well, I don't actually have a lot. I have the equipment I've said, and then I have all my documents. I have an MP3 player. I have my phone, which is just a Galaxy S4. And then other than that, it's mainly clothes. I think my whole backpack, my big one all together, is 10 kilograms. And that's with maybe six or seven t-shirts, a few pair of shorts, one jacket, one pair of shoes, one pair of, what are they called? These things. Flip-flops, that's the one. <laughs> and then other random things that you pick up on the way, like toothpaste, toiletries, uh, uh, underwear <laughs> but yeah largely no real big things that I carry with me that's about it and yeah that's it I think those are five or six of the most common questions I've had if you have any more questions put them in the comments below and I'll do another one of these and if you like this please give it a thumbs up and I'll do more of them in future just let me know post some more questions below and we'll go from there I want this to try and be a learning adventure with you guys as well. It's something that we can both learn from and learn how to travel the world continuously together. So if you have any questions or any suggestions, put them in the comments and I'll reply as soon as I can. So again, that's it for today. Thank you for watching for one more day and this is my life.